Hi students, welcome back to Brilliant Kathar. Here we are discussing the competency based questions from the chapter Alcohol, Phenols and Ethers. Question number 1. Here we have the PKA. You know PKA how it is related to acidity here. PKA is inversely proportional to what acidity, right? The PKA of phenol, PKA of phenol, phenol is lower than that of. So, you know, phenol is much more acidic compound because of the stable phenoxide ion after losing H+. So, which one having lower, lower uh, acidity than phenol? That's they're asking. I can go with which one. The uh, ethanol is the uh, weaker one and the orthocrasole is the stronger one. So, you see, Nitro, nitro. You know, nitro group is a withdrawing group. Withdrawing group makes what more acidic. So, not option C and D. What is orthocrasol? Orthocrasol means what the CH, OH and CH3, right? OH and CH3, yes. You know, alkyl groups are decreasing the acidity. So, there is a chance. Even ethanol, aliphatic alcohol, right? Ethanol and orthocrasol both are actually lower acidic than which one? Normal, normal case, okay, general I am saying, general cases, phenol is more acidic than this one. So, uh, pKa of ethanol is lower than any of this, which is a weaker acid. Yes, weaker acid than phenol. So, weaker. So, that is only option A. So, overall, pKa is lower than that of ethanol, C2H5OH, which is a weaker, which is a weaker acid than phenol. Since it is a ethanol is a weaker acid, therefore its pKa is what higher in value. So pKa of phenol is lower than that of ethanol because ethanol pKa value is higher because of what? It is weakest acid. So option A is the chance. Next one, Anupam tabulated the time required for the reaction of different halogen halide with diethyl ether. So that is our Williamson ether synthesis. Which of the following option correctly identify the halide ion. See, uh, it is uh, in one minute it is reacting, it is one minute, 45 second, it is only 51 second. Whether it is iodine, bromine, chlorine, you know that uh, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Down the group, their reactivity increases, so that will become best leaving group. So, iodine is the most reactive, that means very less time is enough. So, this is what? Iodine, the 51 second is iodine, that is Y and uh, the X, uh, next one is bromine. So, this is bromine, that is W and uh, the highest time taking is for which one? Chlorine, that is what our X. So, what is the answer here? W is uh, bromine, X is what chlorine and Y is what iodine, right? Option D. So, down the group, the halogen reactivity increases. Next one. Which of the compound is accepted to have lowest pH? Lowest pH means what? More acidic. Which is more acidic, dear? This is an ether. This is an alcohol. This is a uh, uh, enol and this is an ether. So, ether, you know, it is less acidic. Ether is less acidic than alcohol. Among T and U, which alcohol is more? See, what is mean by acidic? Acidic means what? They have to leave H+. plus. If it leave this H+, plus, what it form? CH3, CH2, 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 O-. minus. It form butoxide ion. And if it, re, it re, lose this H+, plus ion, what it form? CH3, CH2, CH double bond, CH2, O-. minus, Right? O-. minus. Can you say which is more stable among this one? I will say second one is more stable. Second compound is more stable after losing the H plus ion because of what the resonance, right? Because of the, reson the resonance stabilization is possible there. Like uh, opposite way, the oxygen having lone pair, oxygen since oxygen having lone pair, that makes what? Resonance stabilization. So since the second compound, the intermediate is highly stable, this one is ready to lose the H plus ion. So you, you will undergo reaction or acidity faster, acidity more. Assertion is given, the carbon oxygen bond length in phenol is, you know, phenol, benzene with what? OH, right? Benzene with OH. You know, this oxygen and carbon having a double bond connection because of what? Resonance. Because of resonance, they form a partial double bond. 
So the carbon oxygen bond length in phenol is slightly less than that of methanol. Correct. Because carbon oxygen having a double bond. Double bond is stronger and shorter in length. Assertion correct. The hybridized state of carbon to which oxygen is. The hybridization state of carbon to which oxygen is attached is sp3. No. It is sp2 right. Benzene carbons are what? sp2 hybridized. So, assertion is correct, reason is false. Assertion true, reason is false, option C. Next one. On oxidation, an alcohol gave a product X which reduces Tollens reagent. You know, reduces Tollens reagent means what? It is an aldehyde. Uh, it, is, it should be an aldehyde. That's it. Which of the following could be the alcohol? You know, primary alcohol on oxidation, you get aldehyde. Secondary alcohol on oxidation, you will get ketone. So, this is very clear. They said that after the alcohol oxidation, you are getting an aldehyde because they, they are reducing tolerance. So, which is a primary alcohol? That is the question here. So, this is a primary alcohol, right? Yes, it will give you a aldehyde. Which one? CH3, CH2, CHO. What is this? It is a secondary alcohol. It will give you a ketone. You know, ketone do not reduce tolerance. So, not this. What about this common? What is this common? CH3, CH2, C, CH3, CH3 and then we have OH. It is a tertiary. You know, tertiary alcohol do not undergo oxidation. Instead, it undergo dehydration. So, P is the only P is the answer. So, this is just connecting with the aldehyde chapter also. Next one. Identify the electrophile in the following reaction. Hope it is very clear which reaction is this. Phenol converted to salicyl aldehyde. That is our rimmer timan reaction where most of the students are writing CH2, uh, that CCL2 plus and all. No, that CCL2, that's carbene, that's CCL2. This is the intermediate forming. So maybe in the MCQ discussion and all, you may study that. Remember all, during Fred, uh, the rimmer timan reaction, the intermediate form, what formed is CCL2, the long term. Carbene is the compound. Phenol react with the dilute HNO3. Yes, we study two reaction. Phenol, phenol when react with the dilute HNO3, you know, concentrated HNO3 give you picric acid. Dilute HNO3 give you, give you two products, I think. But what are they? That is what? Orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol. You know that orthonitrophenol having weak intramolecular hydrogen bond and this is why having more stronger intermolecular hydrogen bond. So, a para having high boiling point, high boiling point, ortho having weak boiling point. You know the reason and all, right? Okay. Question. Two students made the observation, okay? Uh, Christine's and uh, Zainab's, all right. So, the thing is, uh, what is that? Uh, beaker 1, beaker 2, boiling point is mentioned. Uh, this also. If beaker 1 contain para nitrophenol, and beaker 2 contain orthonitrophenol. Identify the student whose data collection is correct. Dear, para nitrophenol should have higher boiling point. Orthonitrophenol having lesser boiling point due to here intermolecular strong bond, here intramolecular weak bond. So, where is high boiling point and less uh, boiling point? High and here high and less, here less and high. So, the uh, yes, Christine's uh, readings are correct one. Hope you get the reason for it. Anupam wanted to prepare alcohol using. An Anupam want to prepare. They want to prepare what alcohol by using methyl magnesium bromide. What is methyl magnesium bromide? That's our Grignard reagent, right? Grignard reagent. He took three different compounds P, Q, and R. Okay, he took P, Q, and R. All right. Compound P forms an alcohol with the molecular formula C2H6O. C2H6O. What is C2H6O dear? C2H6O uh, compound P forms an alcohol. Okay, CH3, CH2, OH. What is this? Ethanol, right? C2H6O. You know, ethanol is a primary alcohol. Dear, we studied a special, special property there. If any Grignard reagent, if you treated with, if you treated with methanol, what is methanol? HCHO, methanol, you will get always primary alcohol. Since ethanol is primary, Grignard reagent is ready. So, what should be the aldehyde? It should be methanol. So, P compound is what? Methanol. So, P is 
methanol HCHO. Dear, any Grignard reagent when you treat it with a methanol, product will be a primary alcohol. So the compound is methanol. Compound Q and R are isomer with the formula C3H6O. What is C3H6O? C3H6O can be CH3, CH2, CHO. What is this? Propanol. And what is its isomer? Propanone. Aldehyde isomer is which one? Ketone, right? Functional isomer. Is some formula correct, right? Compound Q and R are isomer with the molecular formula. Yes. Okay, so we don't know which is uh, uh, Q and R among this one, but there is a hint. Compound Q does not form any silver mirror test, tolerance test. Does not react with the tolerance mean it should be a ketone, correct? So this is what your compound Q, propanol is your compound Q. So R is which one? Propanol. Give the IUPAC name of the compound P. P is which one? Methanol. Give the IUPAC name of the compound formed from Q and R. Okay, so Q, what is Q? Q is, uh, Q is CH3, CO, CH3, propanol. What happens if it react with the CH3, MG, BR finally after hydrolysis, you know? This CH3 will attack on this carbon and finally O become OH, right? So what is the answer? CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH. The compound is water, butyl alcohol. And IUPAC name, 2-methyl propan 2 all. What happen if R react? What is R? What is R? R is, R is, R is, R is propanol. CH3, CH2, CHO, propanol. When react with the CH3, MG, BR, what going to happen? You know the CH3 will attack on this carbon, O become OH. So finally, CH3, CH2, CHOH. And then we have CHC. What is this compound? Butan to all. Butan to all. So remember, any Grignard reagent when treated with the methanol product is primary alcohol. Any Grignard reagent treated with the other aldehydes, you will get secondary alcohol like this. And any Grignard reagent treated with a ketone, you will get tertiary alcohol here. Hope you get it. Next one. 2-phenyl 2-hexanol can be prepared. This is the compound. This compound can be prepared. Reacting a Grignard reagent, a ketone. Reacting with a Grignard reagent and a ketone. Just to be discussed now. Grignard reagent, if you treated with a ketone, product is guaranteed it should be a tertiary alcohol. Yes, it's a tertiary alcohol. Write the structures of the two Grignard reagent that can be used, two ketones that can be used. Very simple, dear. See, uh, what is happening, I told you, uh, in that uh, Grignard reaction. This is actually C double bond O initially. That o, C double bond O become OH. Correct? That's what happening there. So let me take it the compounds here. Let me cut this bond. Let me make a, this part a Grignard reagent. That is, that is, ben, uh, phenyl magnesium bromide. It's a Grignard reagent. So this part should be a, this part should be a uh, ketone. So that is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. Okay, 4 CH, uh, 3 CH2 and C double bond O CH3. What is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, C double bond O CH3. You just imagine here, this is pendant 2 on, right? Pendant 2, uh, two 4, 6, X and uh, 2 on. Here, this Mg plus is there, phenyl is there. This phenyl actually what happened? Phenyl actually uh, attack on this carbon and O become OH. That's all. So phenyl attack on this carbon, this C in which CH3 is there, OH is there. Okay, then CH2, 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 CH3 is there. So one thing can be phenyl, the Grignard reagent can be phenyl magnesium bromide and this should be what X and 2 on. This is the ketone, this is the Grignard. So this is the Grignard reagent and this is the ketone possible. One chance. Let's see what is the other chance. We can make it this part the uh, main chain and this part is the main chain. We can break it on the left side. We can break it on the left side here. Left side, sorry. Left side we can break, break it here. And this part is Grignard reagent, this part is the ketone part. So that we can make it like this one. Uh, benzene with the CO, CO, CH3. That is what acetophenone is the ketone. Reacting with the Grignard reagent CH3, CH2, 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 MgBr. So this is the Grignard, that is butyl magnesium bromide. What happened? This, this, this nucleophile 
attack all this carbon and O become O minus, O minus become OH. That's the same product, right? So, answer is, which all are the two Grignard reagent can be used? One is phenyl magnesium bromide, one is butyl magnesium bromide. The two ketone, what you can use it here? Hexan 2 on and uh, acetophenone. These are the ketone can be used. Let me just count the carbon number, okay? Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 benzene. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 benzene. All right, that is the answer. Next question. An alcohol has the molecular formula C5H11OH. C5H11OH, one alcohol. It's very clear. C5H11, so it's a aliphatic type 1. Draw the structural formula of any one of its isomer that is a primary alcohol and primary alcohol means what? OH connected carbon connected to one carbon. A primary alcohol and has a IUPAC name based on propane. Good question. So let's make it a propane here. It should be a primary alcohol, right? It should be a primary alcohol. So we can write OH here and CH3, CH3 here. Total 5 carbon, right? Is it a primary uh, alcohol or not? Yes, because the OH connected carbon connected to one carbon. Why I made this, uh, uh, you know, what is the name of this compound? 1, 2, 3, 2, 2 dimethyl, right? 2, 2 dimethyl, 2, 2 dimethyl, propan, right? Propanol, propanol. You see, this is a primary alcohol, keeping the name what? Propan. Next one, a secondary alcohol and has a IUPAC name based on butane. Butane means what total there should be. So this is the answer of first one. Second question. Butane means 4 carbon. And they said it should be a secondary alcohol. It should be a secondary alcohol. Yes. So let me put CH3 here. You see this OH connected carbon connected to 2 carbon. Yes, it is secondary. And the parent chain contain 4 carbon. Correct. So this is what CH3, CH, CH and this is what CH3. So what is the UPSC name? 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 methyl, right? 3 methyl butan 2 ol butan 2 ol yes it's a secondary alcohol and uh, keeping the name butan with it and third one tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol that's only one possible here that's our third butyl right here we can place it or but five carbons are there right okay five carbon five carbon is there so anyway five carbon means uh, we can place like this one right five carbon and oh so, OH connected carbon connected to 3 carbon. Therefore, yes, it is tertiary alcohol. And what is the name of this common? 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 methyl, butan, 2 ol. 2 methyl, butan, 2 ol. Right? So, this is the tertiary alcohol possible with this formula. Yes, hope you clear. That's questions. Competency based question from the chapter. Alcohol, phenols and ether. Practice there and make your, make your concepts good, good, good knowledge. You can create it. And in depth, you can study while practicing this type of question. Go for your examination, get full marks.